Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have another cool reading. Yes, we do. It's a tarot reading. And uh, we're going to pull all these simultaneous, not simultaneously, spontaneously. Let's see what we have. And we have protection. Yes. And uh, something is being protected. Yes, it is. And that's very beautiful. And interesting, uh, they're showing the tree here, uh, which always looks like the tree of life, basically, the kind of shape. But you know, here at the top is the thunder, but the thunder or the lightning rather, I always, you know, the lightning is here, but it's a sunny day. It's kind of a mixed, uh, a mixed kind of sky there. Uh, so something's being protected, but not without any hard work or something may have happened is the point. And now we have leadership. Okay. So this is definitely somebody stepping up. Maybe you're stepping up to take the lead in something to protect something. Uh, but the leadership card can simply mean a lot of things in career. Maybe you're becoming a leader, right? But let's see what else we have here. And let's do that before we, yeah, before we call it a reading, right? Let's see what we got. And we have the way of the heart. Yeah, somebody's trusting their heart. And he doesn't care what anybody thinks in this card because he's sitting alone He's meditating. It's kind of, it's the way he looks like he is in some kind of, I don't know, a little different here, but he's alone. He's kneeling down and all these people are walking by him in the back. So the way of the heart, he's like, you know, dancing, you know, kind of going with his own heart. And they're kind of depicting this, like he doesn't care what anybody thinks or all these other people don't think like him. So there's some, something's going on here where somebody is taking the lead in order to protect what their heart wants. And there may be some type of a, what's the word, some type of a kind of maybe all by himself, kind of like, let's see what else we have. And we have, uh, understand the infinite. So this is a number seven. And here we see the natives here and they are doing something understanding the infinite this is knowing that somebody could be is your kind of your past life person you're going to be with them in another life or just kind of really understanding spirituality right and uh and the universe and so it's a seven it's 52 so there's a recognition here and somebody's really been reflecting all and this is how they came to this recognition and the recognition is this is i have to go protect something or I have to take the lead here to protect something I really want. Yeah. And, uh, and maybe somebody else doesn't like that because he does sit alone, which is, you know, uh, could be a message unto itself. Let's see what else we have. We're using the Astro cards today. And uh, we have the North Node. And this is Destiny, Purpose, and Activation. Yeah, very cool. So every day or, you know, we're always kind of moving toward the North Node, our, our purpose in life, our destiny. And interesting, uh, the South node is something we leave behind, but the North node is, it's almost like we have to go there and it is, uh, fated. It is, it's destiny, <clears throat> but you know, you have to go with the flow to get there, right? Some people are, uh, they're just not trusting their intuition or they are kind of fighting, you know, fighting spirit, so to speak, but not in this reading. Somebody here, the way of the heart, they are trusting their intuition and they, I feel like they realized because this is a 42, it's a number six that this is destined. So this is destiny. This is about you and somebody Capricorn does look like the full moon culmination release and illumination. So this is going to happen because, uh, there's some type of ending a new beginning with this full moon. And maybe somebody steps away from these other people or, or maybe, maybe a relationship or just maybe something, the crowd or but they're doing what they want here. And the culmination, this is coming to a head. Like it's, it's culminating. It's, it's going to happen. Yeah, it is. And let's see what we have today for you guys, Capricorn in this reading. And we start right here with the King of Wands and yeah. And Capricorn, before we begin the tarot, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. They're accurate. I'm a Silva grad. Yeah. They're lots of fun. They're very eye opening. If you want to kind of the lowdown on somebody's energy. Yeah. And you know, um, you don't know them, you don't trust them. You just met them. 
or you're simply curious, right? And so, yeah, I can do that for you. If you need your own perspective on your own situation, I can do that as well. And uh, we also have a tarot reading at the end and the tarot reading uh, is a different, uh, it's a different, it's showing you, not different, but showing you, it can be, but it's just usually uh, another, it's unique insight into the situation. That's what it is, right? It's its own. So you have two, two divinations basically. And three of swords reversed. Look at that. Wow. King of pentacles reversed. And that may be you Capricorn. It may be somebody who is maybe the other person and eight of wands. We have the queen. Hanged man. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign. The Knight of Pentacles. It looks like there's a lot of people in this particular reading because we have the Knight and the King of Pentacles and we have the Queen and the King of Wands. The devil is here, Capricorn. That may be you, but you know, you could be these, uh, definitely the Knight and the King of Pentacles. And this, in this reading, just be reminded, could be anybody. This can resonate for anybody. Um, and so... Let's see what else we have. So we start Capricorn with the King of Wands. We're going to pull one more card here. I just kind of want to see something. Let's see what we have for Capricorn here from this deck. We have Corruption. And it's, a, it's an ending. It's a completion, but he's yelling at her. Somebody is angry in this reading because it's corruption, right? It's like uh, somebody's really angry, maybe because they've been lied to corruption, right? But it can be that I feel like somebody's being left behind here because this 36 is a completion. It's a number nine, nines and tens are both completions. And so is the full moon culmination release. That's an ending or a completion as well. Yeah, it is. And so, yeah, this is interesting. The king of wands is the overall energy here. And if it's not about a fire sign, it's really about somebody who is kind of taking the lead because the king of wands goes after whatever is passionate to him. He doesn't really sit around and it's, it's, you know, impulsive. It's fast energy. Typically all the fire signs are about fast energy, Aresio and uh, Sagittarius. So, but it's about somebody who reaches for passion because the wands are about passion or they reach for something passionate to them or inspiring to them right and that's what's going on here because the way of the heart right he said forget them right and he's wearing white pants and they're all wearing these uh they look like they're all kind of in the military over here they do and he's got his own he's got a cape on i don't think they're wearing that type of jacket capes kind of a shawl but yeah he's definitely you know doing what he wants following his heart and that's what the king of wands is about as well following your heart about anything that is uh, inspiring to you. And here is the, excuse me. Now we have the nine of swords. So here's another, uh, completion and he's fighting his fears because here's the wimpy guy, right? And you know, and so the wimpy guy, he's, well, he's, you know, they have him looking uh, kind of like an accountant or not that all accountants look wimpy, but they, it's a picture. It's here depicted this way. In other words, he's not, he doesn't have any muscles, but he's definitely standing up to the dragon that is sitting on these nine, eight other swords. So he's taking control of his life or he's fighting his fears. Definitely. He's conquering his fears. Could have been anxiety here. Let's get a card. Let's get a card on the King of Wands. Why is he the overall energy in this reading? And we have uh, the little sister deck, the five of pentacles. Yeah. See something ends here for sure. Yeah. Full moons are about endings and new beginnings. Yeah, they are. Any lunar cycle can be, but full moons are definitely. And so five of pentacles, something gets left out here because somebody, it's not, they don't love that anymore or they don't want that the way of the heart. It's not, they, they have their own ideas like he does. Somebody gets left out pretty sure and they could be angry and maybe they are really angry because here's the tiger yelling at the woman and she's like, oh, you're behaving like a tiger. You must be really, really angry, right? Uh, corruption. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. somebody's angry in this reading, but somebody's sad. I feel like they are. 
probably, and they're being left out over here, most likely. This can also be just a depiction of, here's the king of wands, I'm reaching for something very passionate while I'm leaving something out that is very lacking. Yeah, and the nine of swords with the star card, the nine of swords with the star card is, uh, yeah, he's fighting his fears for hope here. It is interesting. Yeah. He's fighting his fears for inspiration, faith, and hope, and for a new beginning. And so, but it sits in the challenge. So this way of the heart, somebody like doing, going their own way. That's what he's doing here. He's going his own way, but it's about his heart and what he loves. So somebody could be being left behind here and somebody else is very angry about it. But whatever it is here, somebody's trusting their heart. They're like, oh, forget this. I, I, I'm, I, I don't want this. Right? And so interesting this month because people are reaching for things that are really valuable to them with the Venus entering Taurus on Monday. And so it's going to be for, you know, nearly a month. And, uh, yeah, and I cover all the 12 uh, signs and the horoscope in my, in my video on my other channel. I'll, I'll pin it at the top of the comments, Capricorn. So you can have a look at that, but definitely, uh, Venus is about values. Yeah. And, uh, and so is Taurus, right? It, it rules Taurus. It's about values. It's about fertility, growth, love, sensuality, but definitely in during this month, people will be reaching for, or they will be wanting, or they will be knowing, feeling they're lacking that, uh, whatever they value in their life, right? Or people that maybe have the same values as them. That could be the case here too. And so, mm -hmm, interesting. And we have the chariot showing up with the devil. And so this is, somebody's taking control of their life and this is movement, right? Here's the eight of wands down here. And this is movement. And so we have the three of swords reversed. Let's get a card on the three of swords reversed. And we have the three of wands with it. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, letting the bird go like for a new beginning while he faces his ships coming into the bay here. And so this is all about a collaboration. And, you know, with the three of swords here reversed and the three of wands here, we, we can only see his back. His back is to us. Uh, and his little checkered kind of shawl, not shawl, but sash, the checkered, you know, can show two different things because there's two different colors. And so he turns his back here, three of swords reverse. This is ending a third party of some sort. It can be about values. It can be like, I'm not with those people anymore. It doesn't always have to be romance, but it may be the king of cups is pouring a cup out here in this deck. Uh, in this card, he is in this card and King of Pentacles reversed. Somebody gets left behind for sure. And here, or they don't, or they just walk away from something, right? And the King of Cups pours the cup out. So when you pour the cup out, you don't, you don't love anybody here anymore, or you don't want something. Something's not appealing. Something you're not in love still with that. You don't believe in it, possibly, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and we have the Three of Swords reversed again. Can you believe this stuff? And it's showing up here with the Eight of Wands. There's change and some type of heartache or disappointment ends, right? But this can be a third party ending. And somebody may be really mad that they have a broken heart with this corruption card and this king pouring this cup out, Capricorn, right? Maybe it was a mojito. Don't don't pour it out. No, don't, right? Summer's coming. Mojitos. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Queen of Wands showing up in the concern. Four of Pentacles. And this is the death card with it. Somebody's no longer holding on to something, or they end something so that they may hold on. That's what goes on in this reading. The hanged man. In the environment, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, there she is. And this is, uh, she always reminds me of Venus. Here's the rabbit for fertility. She does. She is very nurturing. And she, she can be Venus, right? She can because uh, Venus rules Taurus and, and Libra. No, I don't, I don't want to leave that out. Yeah. Um, I was just kind of focused on Taurus because the Pentacles are here, right? And Libra's an air sign. Knight of Wands. Mm-hmm. 
in the environment. This is taking action. There's a release here with the hanged man. And we know it because the full moon talks about release and culmination. And something is coming to a head here. Something is culminating Capricorn where this person's going to contact you. I'm pretty sure. And this person has awakened because we have understanding the infinite, right? The infinite, what, what goes on reincarnation, our, our own, our intuition, our divinity, right? And so mm -hmm, this person might feel like you're a past life person. They could. Yeah. And the Knight of Pentacles hopes, uh, is in the hopes and desires, and it shows up with the Queen of Swords. And the card is a little clipped here. She's twirling a butterfly for a new beginning. She's discerning that. And this is what this person or you wants, right? And it's, can I have that? Can I have a new beginning with Capricorn? Or that is the idea here in the hopes and desires. I hope I can have that. And we have the Two of Cups showing up here. And uh, with the Six of Cups here. And this looks like it's a returning. Here are these children returning to their dad, right? And uh, mm -hmm. and so here's the Two of Cups with it. And they are embracing ever so tightly here, Capricorn. And do we have the Two of Cups already? No, we don't. But very beautiful here. Two of Cups. And yeah, this is... Somebody is either returning to you, Capricorn, or they are leaving some type of a relationship because, I don't know, they see you as like a, a cosmic partner, it looks like. It does kind of really look like that. Maybe they were like corrupt, you know, like with you. Maybe they did something with you. But I feel like this, uh, and that could be the case, but I feel like whatever this corruption is, I feel like it has to do with something ongoing here where somebody follows their heart, the way of the heart, and they step away from something else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure here, right? Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. and remember we have the king pouring the cup out. could simply be that somebody no longer wants to like hang out with a certain group of people because it's possible they were against you or they didn't care for you or just something like that. That could be happening in this reading too. Yeah, it's a general reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. I'm going to go ahead and pin that Venus and Taurus. It's very cool. Uh, Venus enters Taurus. It, it really is because uh, the sun is in Taurus and right now, right? And so that's all really cool. And it is all, it's just confirming this strong energy of Venus and how it will affect all of us. It's really a good month for stability. Uh, it is money improving. It's a good for value, your values. People are going to reach for, you know, what's truly important to them. So it's a, it's a very cool uh, month. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And that video will be pinned at the top of the comments. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, Capricorn, and hit the little bell in order to get my uploads. Thank you so much, you guys.